Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiends. Today, we got Doodoo. No, I'm just kidding. We got DDG Famous. Would you call him Doodoo Garbage? Are you a are you a Soul Illuminati supporter? No. No? Who would you side with? DDG or Soul Illuminati? DDG. You side with DDG? I, I don't know. I don't know what Soul Illuminati is. I don't know if he's a meme. I don't like. I don't know what he is. He's one of the OG streamers. You know, like um, YouTubers. You know, low tier god. Yeah. He's like, he's like low tier god to me. And what's low tier god to you? He's like a meme. He's just a meme. <laughs> well, you ain't lying. Anymore. That's a that's a good that's a good take. Not really anymore. I don't I don't really consider low tier god to be a meme anymore. You, but yeah, he's he's he really used gotten, to be a meme. Yeah, yeah, low tier god. He's really gotten popular. But I, I see what you're saying. Where it's like. You don't watch them, but they're always you always see their picture everywhere, the video, yeah. their clips. Like he's just people like a, are just use them. Yeah, he's just a reaction to things. He's like almost not even a real person. Like his personality has been distilled down into whatever ridiculous shit that he says. There's some new times. skinny black dude that I see. He got a little, you know, dreads or braids or whatever that I've been seeing being used like that recently. Skinny black dude. I think the, his clip was like he was listening to some like. Asian song or something. Or no, he was listening to like Lil Uzi and Lil Uzi said something about Asian people and he went like this. Oh, I never seen that. <laughs> he said, he said, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah, nah, I tweet, I tweet. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Oh, that shit was bad for me. I've been seeing him a lot lately. He's, he's a new meme nigga. I don't know what his name is or his streams. But, Either way, we got DDG. I kind of like DDG. I kind of like Soul Illuminati too. I think they can both coexist. Um, I didn't listen to this album, but I can't see it being good. He had three versions of of uh, I'm geeking on there. That's weird. Slow down. No, 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 not slow down. La Tyler version. I think Emily Chopper version. Be a version. And then the original. You don't need to do that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I guess you have to since those are pretty big features. A slow down version might be kind of nice. Actually, not really. It's just that one. No, though, he well, he has a slow down version. It's not on the album, but it's on his Spotify. Oh, okay. Because you know what? You know what happens? Niggas, people do it on TikTok and then they make their own version of a slow down version. He's like, nigga, why don't I just make it myself? Mm -hmm. so I'm just, I'm getting all the streams. Yeah. And then, you know, it's the future. Future. Either way. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. On this beat, we got Tank God and Elliot Frat. Don't know who the fuck they are. You know what? I'm interested. Let's see who they are real quick. Tank God. Oh, shit. He made Rockstar. Post Malone Rockstar. And maybe if you know ASAP Rocky Black Tux. I don't. And this is Elliot Frat's first genius post. So let's get into it. I'm falling in love, I hate that shit Knocking me up on ground, I can't fuck with relationships I ain't even got enough time in the day nice. for me to chase a bitch I don't even ask so much, I ask you to do the basic shit Hardest thing I did was fall in love with a famous bitch Fans all on my penis, too much stress, don't need it If you see me tweet, don't read it, I swear I'll delete it Sometimes I feel so defeated, broken hearts repeated Said I love you saw DDG, would you automatically go for the... <laughs> How many people really would? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm watching them like, that's... That nigga delivered the food. I gotta... With DDG? What are we talking about? You know... Like, if you deliver some food to Kobe or some shit, with Lionel Messi... Well, well I gotta... Yo, know, let's be... DDG. Well, let's be real. If I... I'm not taking the selfie with myself. I might be like in my group chat. Yeah, you know, I just yeah, you know, I just seen DDG. You would take a picture of that nigga? It depends. Depends where I am. If I'm in the mall, I don't give a fuck if I saw DDG. But if I'm at a party and I'm trying to showcase how lit my party was, I'd be like, "Yo, DDG, am I in the party I'm at?" Yeah, I might send the I might send the text, but I would have take a picture of the nigga. Yeah, 
Right. What am I, the paparazzi? You're right. <laughs> I just, I would just send the message. I got a document. He's right there. It's DDG, nigga. You know, back in my days, when I used like Snapchat and shit, you know, I was in college and shit. I might have done that shit because that, that's the content game. You just always want something on your story. So yeah, I might have done and that. And you want you want to show off your lifestyle yeah. to a certain degree to other people. Yeah. It's some clown shit. It's not clown shit. Because no, it's clown shit. It's clown no, no, wait, wait. It's not clown shit because a lot of people do it for clowning reasons. Me, I did it for the hoes. Is that a clowning reason? Yeah, it is. Fakely. You gotta Fakely. Show, you gotta show the hoes you're lit. Fakely. Fakely clowning. But you gotta show the hoes you're lit. Yeah, but you're buying into the clown shit. Like you're participating in the clown shit for your own benefit, but that's you're still you're still in the circus. Man. You're still in the circus. It's not clown shit, bro. You're you're participating in the clown shit for your own benefit. You're not you're not a clown, but you're still in the circus. This nigga don't want me to reproduce. It's fine. If you did, you mean it. Why don't I believe it? I'm trying to figure out what we gonna do. How we gonna get to the top? Filming the movie now. You kissing? Yo, this what I been being in, bro. Regular bitches. Oh, this thing is talking about um, popular. Yeah, he's talking. He's definitely talking about Haley. He's talking about Ariel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this is what I'm be meaning, bro. Like regular bitches. That bitch look better than Haley. Yeah, she does. It's crazy, right? We just don't know. You know I love you a lot. I don't give a fuck if that shit for promo. I don't wanna see this shit no more. Why is y'all holding hands in a photo? You know I'm insecure. That's a no. I keep coming back. Want to leave, but I'm too attached. Taking shopping, I'm dumbing through racks. Ain't no limit. I'm spending the max. All these niggas that be in your DM trying to tell you they proud. But the motherfuckers don't even know you, so I want to know how. But I know that's just part of the game. All these industry niggas is lame. They just want you because you got a name. And because you the girl that I claim. All these motherfuckers all in my business. It be stressing me out on some real shit. I get so high, I can't feel shit. I get so high. Fall in love, I hate that shit. Knocking me up on ground, I can't fuck with relationships. I ain't even got enough time in the day for me. This is a good-ass song. It is. It's a good-ass song. Let's save it to the end, because I got a lot to say about this, actually. This is a good-ass song. <laughs> I got a lot to say about this. <laughs> what is that? Hey, so bitch, I don't even ask for much. I actually do the basic shit. Hardest thing I did was fall in love with a famous bitch. Fans all on my penis. Damn. Too much stress, don't need it. If you see me tweet, don't read it. I swear I so yeah, you, you, see, you, know what's crazy? you see he don't fuck with none of this shit. <laughs> you know, you know, DDG went on like fresh and fit. Yeah. Like, you don't fuck with none of this shit. You don't want a girl to get his, her take, picture taken and being famous. You don't want a famous bitch. You don't, he want to get a famous bitch and then turn into a housewife. Why don't you just find a housewife? I guess on average, the famous bitches are sexier. That doesn't even make any sense. You're not getting an average famous bitch. You're just getting a famous... You're getting one bitch. What are you talking about? You're saying, on average, the famous bitches are sexier. Okay, but you don't have to find the I'm talking average. about. I'm talking about, like, right? You're not looking for the averageness. You're looking for a, a specific... A, any specific woman who's sexy. I don't know. You're just being confusing. I'm not... There are more sexy non-famous bitches than sexy famous bitches. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, the same way where... You really want to fuck your teacher in high school. It's not that she's actually that sexy. It's that she's just in your vicinity. So you've you've propped her up as this as as this thing. And that's just what happens with famous girls. This is why I was this is what I was saying earlier. This girl is sexier than, than Halle Bailey and probably sexier than Lotto, probably sexier than, than Nicki Minaj, probably sexier than a whole bunch of bitches, but because she's not famous, you she's not really retaining your memory like that. So a nigga want to get with Coyle Ray, then gets with Coyle Ray, and after you get with Coyle Ray, you're just like, you a regular bitch. I disagree. Oh. Well, it's not even that I disagree. It's just, I just don't feel that way. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you want to feel. I'm just like, <laughs> I like, I, I don't have uh, a greater desire to fuck like a Coyle Ray or a Lotto over this bitch. You be more readily... You would follow a girl that is famous or that you've met in real life over just some random bitch you found. Like follow her on based like, off, Instagram. Based off just her sexiness. Like, on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, nah. 
So there's no girls that you've followed that you might have met in real life or are famous based on their sexiness. But you don't follow other bitches that are sexier than her on Instagram. I don't follow other bitches that are sexier? Yeah. No, no, I do. So there are a couple of girls that I've met in real life who I followed them based on their sexiness. Yeah. But there are other bitches that I don't know that I followed that look better. Oh, I don't do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't... And I'm like, oh, I met her before. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, she's famous. That doesn't mean anything to me. No, no. I don't do it. I don't do it at all. Like, uh, I, I, I try to curate my feed. No hoes on my feed. This is, this is a distraction. But um, I'm just saying, like, I think that's just the next step for a lot of people. Whereas, like, you know, people be like, oh, my teacher's so bad. No, she's not. In the actual marketplace, she's not that bad. And now it's like, you follow this girl that you met one time, or you follow you follow Ariana Grande on, on Instagram. Why are you following Ariana Grande like, on the Ariana Grande? You don't like her music. You just think she's sexy. Well, there's a bunch of bitches that are sexier than Ariana Grande. That doesn't apply to me. You I'm know that, but you know that applies. I mean, logically, like yeah, you know yeah, that, yeah. That applies I, I understand to most people. that. I understand that. Yeah, and you're saying that applies to DDG. Uh yeah. Whereas, like, yeah, I'm saying, like, hey, bro, is he barely that sexy? He can get way better bitches. He probably sees way better bitches at the strip club, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, like, he probably sees way better bitches all the time. Why is he like Haley so much? I don't know. Maybe he'll say she's cool, this, that, and the third. Yeah, but then he's... But then he's complaining in this video the, the, the trials and tribulations of having a famous bitch. Yeah, but then he's, he's just a clown for that. Look how he's standing. Yeah, I'm saying, like, this, <laughs> this is just a regular photo shoot. Like, this isn't even that crazy. Niggas don't want that either. Why? What's wrong with that? Simp. Photos? Simp. I don't... Is, is she, she's not naked. Simp. No, bro. Let's repeat it. Said I love you, did you mean it? Why don't I believe it? I be so insecure that I be thinking you really be fucking niggas you in movies with. But on the internet, I just be cooling it. But in my head, a nigga really losing it. Gotta be paying good because you keep doing it. I might just tweet something just to ruin it. I got a platform. That could be one thing he's thinking. Man, she fucking the photographer. Why you want her in that position? <laughs> you gotta go see a therapist. You gotta see a therapist. You gotta go see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> or just don't date famous bitches. It's all, it's just all, it's just all... That's what I was saying. You were beefing with me. No, I'm saying that's. I'm just giving the rationale behind it. But I'm. I'm I wouldn't. I would tell him not to do it. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah I would tell him not to do it. It's, it's not like I, that's what I even said. Like you get her and you just realize she's a regular girl. <laughs> like, bro, it's not that. It's not that big a deal. Form, I'm abusing it. It's a couple things about your job I wanna know. When you shoot your movie, do these niggas turn you on? Damn. When you This is a really good song because it's, it's he's he's making me pause it a lot because he's saying a lot of shit, yo. He's saying a lot of shit here, um, because he's really putting out all his issues that come with dating a famous person. He's putting out on Front Street, all the mental turmoil that, that that's possible. What do you think happens? Well, you know what I'll give him. Well. You know, to me, in my head, I just go, oh, I don't think he's just recording a movie. But maybe you oh, go on set. Dangerous album. Maybe you go on set, you see the chemistry between the two, you're like, wait, wait. Uh, and you like, no, it's just acting, it's just acting. You know what they say? I don't. I think every single on screen live action Spider Man and his love interest have dated. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Toby, and whatever, whatever that girl's I mean, name is. But they're obviously Andrew Garfield and uh, Emma Stone, and then obviously Tom Holland and Zendaya. So you know, there's there's an aspect to that where it's like that chemistry, well, that onset chemistry, and it's like beyond that, it's like you're an intimate moment. You probably you probably like beyond just what you see on screen, and when the director says, "Then you know, hit hey." hey what am I saying? When the director says it's action, you know, you're not always practicing for the people. They're probably in the trailers together, going over it, and really like, 
acting is also a way of showing, you know, a vulnerable side to you, right? This is your craft. This is your skill set. And you're commiserating over that. Like, there's a lot of ways that you could build attraction with someone through that kind of, you know, work relationship. Yeah, a lot of people, they just go, oh, it's acting. But, you know, just off the top of my head, there's two different types of acting that you can engage in. One is where you just fake um, an emotion. Like, you just you just have the ability to go from one to the other, and you just fake it, and then you can go right back to the other, like, once the director says cut. And then the other type of acting is where you actually summon those emotions. You recall on some sort of past memory, and you create those emotions in you for whatever scene or, or, or um, uh, yeah, whatever scene that you're, um, you're in. And if it's that one, then constantly, let's say it's a, it's like a love scene or something, or it's a, uh, uh, like an intimate moment between two people, constantly bringing up those emotions and then displaying them uh, to somebody, and then they're responding back to it. That could eventually you tricked me. That could eventually, you know, what I mean, you create something between the two actors. So, you know, I understand some of the some of the uh, concerns that he has, but. Like you said, don't take a fans, bitch. Nigga. Like, <laughs> what you want? He's going deep, though, bro. I, I appreciate this. It's good stuff. Time of the day for me to chase a bitch. I don't even ask too much. I ask you to do the basic shit. Hardest thing I did was fall in love. I don't know. Fuck to that nigga. <laughs> too much stress, don't need it. If you see me tweet, don't read it. I swear. Yo, and you know, that's another thing, right? Right there, right? That nigga probably some director, some screenwriter. Not that nigga, but some nigga. I was just building an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And he looking at it like, that's what he's saying. But, you know, you're the man. But I know what that nigga on. <laughs> he's, he's, he's macking. <laughs> he's jonesing right now. You're just using the screenplay as a reason to be able to get to talk to you. You're so insecure. You're so paranoid. But you outside uh, outside the crib sitting like that. That's how I guess you feel crazy. Really, really, and like from all angles, the writing, the beat, the 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 vocal performance. Well, actually, that might be the weakest one. His that delivery. Is the weakest one. The, his delivery was the weakest one. Um, but the uh, the ad libs are very, very good. Very good. The um, like and, and like the structure of it all, right? He knew exactly where to put the ad libs to show the emphasis. Like he knew what he was doing. You know, I can see that he's really taking his music seriously. He wants to actually make good music. Um, you know, the video was really good as well. You know, clap it up for DGG, man. He really, he really is taking this shit seriously, and no one can tell him he's not a proper rapper. They just be a hater. They just be a hater. A proper artist, proper musician, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, and willing and being the willingness to show vulnerability in his music too. Yeah, I give us no man. This this shit like this makes me say like even if I don't listen to this song, and I don't really like DDG that much, shit like this makes me say I hope you win. And I'll give this I'll give this song. I'll give it a 6.5. That vocal, I would have given it a 7, but that vocal performance, he still needs to work on that. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, a lot of what you said, obviously, the the lyrics. That, that for me, is the biggest part of it. And it's, it's not because, like, I'm some massive lyric head, but it's just, like, when it's I like listen. a storyteller. He's good. I don't even know. Eh, yeah, sure. But for me, it's more like, when I'm listening to music, I want what I'm listening to to feel like to feel like it actually means something to you. Really, that's that's the way that I feel about any art that I consume, whether it's TV, movies, music, a painting. I want that shit to look like, feel like, smell like, sound like it really means something to you. That's super duper important for me, because otherwise we're not even talking about artistry. You're just making a product, and products are fine, sure, but I want to. It's Amazon, it's wholesale. <laughs> it's, it's Amazon, it's wholesale. Yeah, it's like when I'm when I'm experiencing art, because I'm me. I only have my experience. Everything that I know about life and existence is through this little window that I have. And that's the way that it is for everybody, and everybody's window is different. So when you're showing me what you see and what you feel and all that kind of stuff, I want to actually be able to experience it from your point of view, even if it's something I don't like. So just the lyrics alone lets me know 
that the shit that he's talking about, he means it. And that's why we were able to generate some good conversation off of it because this is actually talking about some real shit. Some real shit. Even, I've never dated a famous bitch. I can't relate. <laughs> but just thinking about it, some of the things that he says, and what I like is that at the end, he was softly saying really like some of the most important parts, you know, for him that kind of go through his mind when he's thinking about it. It's like, you know, I got questions about your job. Uh, what do you say? He said, uh, when you're doing those, uh, when you're in the movies, does he turn you on? Uh, after the scene, uh, uh, is he going through your phone? Like, that's the kind of shit you can tell. That's the way it was like echoing softly throughout the, the end of the song. That's what's been echoing softly through his head as he's been dealing with the insecurity of, you know, being in this type of situation. Just that alone, like, this song is phenomenal. Even though I would never listen to it. Keep it a bean. But this song is great. So uh, I would give it a seven. I wouldn't add this to my playlist, but shout out to this nigga DDG. And like you said, the songs like this and maybe go, I'm rooting for him. I think that's a review. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Peace.